Well, you could think of it as reaching for the stars and catching one. Now, this morning, the U.S. Department of Energy announced a breakthrough in nuclear fusion research. Experts say it could change the world. A whole lot of scientists are sounding downright giddy about it. They're excited about what could become a safe, abundant, and clean source of energy, nuclear fusion. It involves combining atoms, and it's what powers the sun. But here on Earth, scientists have struggled to get more energy out of the reactions than what goes into them. A source says the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California figured it out. This milestone moves us one significant step closer to the possibility of zero carbon, abundant fusion energy powering our society. It's taken decades of research around the globe to reach this point. Experts say it could take years more for fusion to become a large scale commercial energy source. Some climatologists were quick to tweet they think the world should use existing renewables in the meantime. So we wanted to dig more into the subject, so we called up our own local fusion energy expert, Professor Stephanie Diem from the College of Engineering at UW Madison. We had her right on speed dial. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much for contacting me. So happy to be here. Yeah, well, yeah, big news. And I think a lot of people are wondering, you know, what does this mean for me? Yeah, so what this means for everyone is that, as it was mentioned, we've been working a while to how do we harness the power of the sun here on Earth. And what we were really tasked with demonstrating is that first experimental demonstration of producing more power out from fusion energy mm -hmm. than you put in. And this was the first time we ever achieved that. And that was just such an amazing feeling because you spend all this time understanding the physics deep down what's going mm -hmm. on and then actually making it a reality. So it, how many, how long has it been worked on? So this has been going on for decades and really what allowed us to get to this point right now is we're at this unique moment in time that we're able to build on all of these research experiments that we performed. We also have advanced and additive manufacturing capabilities and advanced computational or understanding of models. Mm -hmm. And bringing these all together, we can understand deep down what's going on and troubleshoot where things were going wrong and fix them. Yeah. Well, I think when people hear the word nuclear, they think of like some sort of catastrophe. So mm -hmm. is this all safe? This, that is a great question, and, and really that's what drives what I do, because I want what we do to be safe for people mm -hmm. and to have abundant fuel. So the fuel for fusion is just found in hydrogen, heavier forms of hydrogen. You can find it anywhere. And what's great is you really have to have those conditions for fusion to happen. So high temperatures, high densities, hold on to it long enough. And that, once you have those conditions, that's when fusion happens. If you don't, nothing happens. So our fuel is in a gas form, and if you don't have it hot enough, it just turns back into gas. So what yeah. happens next? So great question, what happens next? We demonstrated we can create more power out from fusion than we put in. Now comes into point like, what do we need to do to actually generate electricity? And so that means we need to find advanced materials that can withstand these high, high temperatures. We're talking 10 times hotter than the sun. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's amazing, um, but we're actually doing it now and we need to do things like how do you generate electricity so at the you know there's heat coming out of this and we're actually capturing the heat and gen using that to generate steam to turn turbines to generate electricity similar to what we do now only cleaner um, and really make sure it's sustainable so like long term is the goal you know people can heat their houses maybe power their cars a lot of the stuff that we need electricity for exactly yeah, yeah it can just replace coal power plants right now and this is what's amazing about fusion. If you look at the fuel for fusion to power your whole entire life, this is your car, your house, your electronics, you just need heavy forms of hydrogen that you can find in two bathtubs full of water and five lithium laptop batteries okay. for your whole lifetime wow. <laughs> with no greenhouse gases. Um, to get that same amount of energy from burning coal, you have to burn 280 tons of coal and it produces 380 tons of pollution. Okay. So this that's like a big... Yeah. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Should we sign yeah. up for a class from her? <laughs> yes, I think? please. I, I have a lot to learn, I think. Come to my experiment to <laughs> yeah. my campus. We have an experiment on campus that we're doing. Yeah. Oh wow, this is yeah. fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Really, thanks well, for we're keeping you on speed dial. Yeah. So, thank yep. you very much. <laughs> thank thank you. you. So great to be here.